Um, I literally have to leave to go to school in like three minutes, but I just wanted to what is my hair doing? But I really wanted to sit down and intro this video before I left this week is gonna be the start of another <laughs> reading challenge Surprise surprise. I decided that this week. I wanted to try the reading for 45 minutes per day challenge Um, and the reason for that i'm gonna let voiceover me go over the reasoning So I was just doing a little bit of research or as hermione would say a little bit of light reading or whatever And I came across this interesting article. It's called trends in leisure reading 40 years of research on reading in the Netherlands. It was written by these two hoes and it basically was just summarizing research and the diminishing rate of leisurely reading. It really accredited the rise of television to be the main reason why reading dramatically fell. It fell like by so much. I saw this table that measured how many hours per week people were reading and in 1955, which was before the television was invented, people were reading five hours per week. So I divided that number by seven to find out how much people were reading on average per day, which was around 43 minutes, but that was a little bit pacific. So I just found it up to 45. So I thought that would be fun this week to try reading like I'm a Stepford wife. I still don't know how I'm gonna balance school plus work plus reading plus YouTube. Today is gonna be day one after class in the evening. I'm gonna do my 45 minutes of reading. I don't know why I have such a problem with like, I don't know, like reading. I always fall asleep. I'll see you guys later today. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna do this for seven days or five days. During the summer, I did it for a week, but now it's the school year and I feel like I'll probably do it for five days for the five school days. I gotta run. See you guys later. Okay, guys, guess what time it is. It's 9.49 p.m. I haven't done any reading because I just finished all my homework. That's a lie. I didn't finish all my homework. But I decided that I wanted to read anyway because I've literally been working until now and I want to read so, so, so badly. That was my little station. But I really want to read now. So I'm going to wind down, crawl into bed and just read my 45 minutes for today. Maybe longer because I really want to finish the book that I'm reading. Um, and I think it's that I had like, I don't know how long. Let's look. According to this, I have two hours and 30 minutes left. Are you kidding me? I'm reading Masters of Death by Ollie B. Blake. This is like spillover from like such a long time ago. I want to finish it so badly just because I've been reading it for such a long time and I want to start a new book really, really badly. I really wanted to finish this like three nights ago and I still haven't because it's been so busy and I really, really wanted to finish it tonight, but it's 10 p.m. No free time. I don't care. Even if it goes over the 45 minutes, I'm going to finish this tonight. I don't care. My goal for tomorrow morning is to do my 45 minutes of reading in the morning. I don't know. Let's not be ambitious now. My goal is to finish this. I don't. <laughs> no, that's gonna happen. But anyway, I'm gonna start the clock. We'll see how long I go. Let's read. So Masters of Death is a standalone fantasy novel. It's like urban fantasy. It takes place in our world, except in this world. Creatures and stuff exist like angels, demons, ghosts, and stuff like that. Fox is the godson of death. Vi is a vampire, I think. And death goes missing. And so they end up meeting each other, joining forces, try to find him in this big game. Also, I'm doing all these voiceovers and I'm really, really tired. It's midnight. Sorry. I did it. I hit 45 minutes. 71% of the way through the book now, actually. That's pretty good. I have an hour and 43 minutes left, apparently. Um, it's 10.51 p.m. Am I gonna be able to finish this book? I really, really want to because I want to start a new book really badly. Loki, I have no idea what's going on in this book. There's like this game that they're playing. It's like not... I don't really I don't really get anything about the game. It just seems like they're all like talking. What I suspected is in fact correct that all of these hoes are so messy. My mistake was like making this book go on for such a long time because it's kind of a complex story with like so many characters that I think that just reading it all in one go was like the move but I kept picking it up and putting down and now it's like harder to understand. And I'm already smooth brained as it is. You know what I mean? But I do love all of you Blake's writing. Well, let's see if I finish this book. I'll let you guys know if I do end up finishing it but if not, I'm still gonna see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully the morning. It might not be the morning. It might be nighttime again. Hopefully not though. I'm gonna aim for the morning. Um, hey guys. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing like very, very terrible happened. I just had therapy. I didn't end up doing the 40 <laughs> I didn't end up doing the 45 minutes this morning even though I woke up early enough in the morning to do it But then I fell back asleep And then I had to go to class. So now I'm back from class. It's 5 p.m. I actually did end up finishing masters Okay, see this is the thing is that I didn't end up finishing masters of death last night I think I had like 20% of the book left, but I was so tired that i ended up falling asleep then i woke up today i literally woke up at 5 a.m okay because i have an alarm set for 5 a.m last week because that's when i filmed my 5 a.m reading challenge video so then i finished masters of death in the morning but i didn't count it towards my 45 minutes because i wanted to start today's 45 minutes with a different book i rated it three stars i didn't love it as much as her other books because i think it was quite convoluted and i think most of like her books have an element of 
convolution in it that's just like the Olive Blake spice but in this case it was like really really convoluted because the premise of the book is like you meet all the characters and then there's like a game that happens but it's like a game with like gods angels and demons and things like that so it's like not really like a game game it's like a really deep existential kind of game where there's no rules to it the only rule is that you can't lose it's like all these mind games and then it's like and then this person lost so there's no really like set rules to the game but that's fine because it's like not really the point i don't really know what i'm in the mood for i've been wanting to read the last letter by rebecca yaros because this author is like really popular right now she has other fantasy books and stuff too but i didn't love her fantasy but this is like a contemporary and i heard that there's like a plot twist or something in this i'm literally searching it up on goodreads right now it has a 4.42 on goodreads there's like i think one of them is a soldier something happens i don't really know oh my gosh I, is it like brother's best friend my favorite trope ever i think like her brother dies and then tasks his best friend to like leave the army and then go help his little sister who's taking care of twins oh my gosh hopefully becky does not fumble the bag with this one. Oh my gosh chapter one starts with a letter i'm gonna cry I know I'm gonna cry when I read this book. Okay, yes, so Ella and her brother, her brother is a soldier. She basically starts being pen pals with his friend. Also, my dad called me um during this time and then I ended up crying. It, I can't even explain it, but yeah, she ends up being pen pals with his friend but doesn't know his actual name. They use code names. And then after the brother dies, he has to come back from the military and take care of her. The friend, not the brother. Also, that wasn't a spoiler. Okay, well, I read my allotted 45 minutes, but I'm definitely gonna keep reading more literally just got to the good part i'm 13 percent of the way through i don't know if it's because i had therapy today or because my dad called me maybe emotional or this book is just really sad but wow at first like 10 percent of the book not even 10 percent where it's just like literally setting the scene the bulk of the story hasn't even happened yet absolutely just brutal brutal i already love beckett i know that i am it's giving me like dear john vibes he basically has like no family no attachment he's like known for being a lone wolf has like a dark past i think or just like a really rough upbringing i think he like traveled from foster homes and stuff like that really heavy so far i was not expecting to like <laughs> literally cry so much i'm probably gonna read more of this but i won't count it in my 45 minutes I'll probably just see you guys tomorrow morning <laughs> at least one of these days i'm gonna do it in the morning whether it's the last thing that i do Good morning everyone i did it i woke up early enough and i'm gonna do my 45 minutes of reading oh my gosh i hope i don't fall asleep it's like 7 a.m um 7 a.m waking up and I actually didn't end up reading much more of the last letter last night but I think that's good actually because I feel like we can take my reading to just like the 45 minutes per day and we can actually see does 45 minutes per day make a significant difference and can you read a significant amount of books if you do that every single day so let's see we set that and then we're gonna start I made it to like I don't even know I don't even know how long it was not even 20 minutes probably and then of course I started napping you can, I mean I rolled over there and you can't see but I was napping and I'm napping here so um i was taking okay i wasn't like napping napping i was taking micro naps when i was napping and then that's so embarrassing you can literally see me nodding off and my kindle keeps falling that's so embarrassing at the 45 minutes oh i was like falling asleep as i predicted it's okay i just closed my eyes you know what's weird though when i close my eyes and i start like taking micro naps while i read i like dream reading like i don't even know how to explain it if i close my eyes for like, like 30 seconds in those 30 seconds my brain is just like making up it's like imagining reading and it's like making up things that i read and then i have my eyes again and i get mixed up about the things that i made up in my head versus what was actually on the page does that happen to anyone else i need breakfast go to the gym and then go to school i'm now 31 percent of the way through this book this has a trope in it that i didn't actually realize hidden identities which you guys know that i like that trope except i don't really know in this case they were pen pals and i'm like falling in love through their letters obviously it's that trope if you like that trope then when he comes back to take care of her she doesn't know that that's him she was writing to in the letters because they use like code names and so she doesn't realize that that is him she just thinks that this is just like another soldier that her brother sent i feel like would you not put two and two together a little bit anyway it has that secret identity trope because he knows that it's her and he's like so in love with her because of these letters and she has no idea that that's him I'm not loving it that much because i get stressed out that he's like lying to her really stressed out actually i hate when characters lie like that to each other other. It just like really stresses me out. So I just know that there's gonna be like a big like confrontation. She's gonna be mad. Like, is that gonna be the third act breakup? Like, oh, I know that that's gonna happen. I'm not really slow burn at all. This man is like so in love with her so badly. I thought that he would be like such a tough nut to crack all about not getting attached to people, but then he like opens up to her like, almost right away. She's obviously really attracted to him. I can already feel her starting to fall in love with him, and we're only a third of the way through the book. Anyway, those are the 45 minutes. I'll see you. I don't know if I'm gonna do the morning because. 
I fall asleep, but we'll see. I'm sitting down to get ready to go to school now. It's 9.40. We started at 8.30 today and I didn't know. I thought we started at 10. And so I'm just fully not there. And now I have to get ready and I need to sneak in. Oh, great start to the school year. This has nothing to do with the video. I just wanted to put it on record. Whoops. In the editing, there's literally no more footage from this day. Um, I don't really know what happened. Did I not read this day? That entire week was so chaotic to me. However chaotic it looks like on this vlog, it is literally 10 times more chaotic in real life. I think I might have just accidentally skipped this day and not realized it. So that's my bad. Yeah, I failed the challenge. <laughs> oh girl, I failed the challenge. I failed it so hard. Yeah, sorry about that. On to day five. This golden hour. Obviously, I got back from school. I'm scarfing down dinner right now. No free time. Literally no free time. I have to go to a Blue Jays game, which is the Toronto baseball team <laughs> i'm debating whether or not i want to go because i'm so tired um, so i decided that i'm gonna start now read for however long i can and then whatever i don't finish i might oh i might have to read at a baseball game little miss kindle at the baseball game but i'm gonna start the timer 45 minutes i'm gonna stop when i stop reading and then i'm gonna restart it when i do start reading because i need to figure out where i'm gonna be and what i'm gonna be doing i have to get ready <laughs> i don't want to do it i'm so tired i'm waiting for my toast i'm gonna start reading right now we're gonna go 45 minutes <laughs> Oh, it's probably worth it to say now that I did not end up going to the baseball game. In fact, in this clip, you will see me being stressed out. Okay, not really stressed out, but being like difficult and like really debating whether or not I should go. But I'm a quite a decisive person. And once I make my mind about the fact that I'm not going to go like 8 million percent, I'm just not going to go. So I don't know what I was stressing out for. And honestly, it was a great decision because I've literally never felt FOMO once in my life. But I feel ROMO all the time, which is a relief of missing out every single time. Never fails me. Um, at the 45 minutes now, I mean, I read for 45 minutes, 43% of the way in. I didn't read as much as I should have for the 45 minutes because I was so tired. Also, I was texting people trying to decide whether or not to go to the game. I decided to just stay home. Surprise, surprise. Because I'm so tired. Welcome to today. I think this might be the final day. Um, this week has been really trippy actually, so I haven't been able to keep track of the days. Um, sorry I look crazy. I literally just got back, but it's 6 p.m. now. 6.11 actually. I still haven't read my 45 minutes for today. I did actually read a little bit today because during our lunch break, we got one hour lunch break. Started reading and then took a nap, but our program gave us breakfast actually, so now I just have a loaf of bread. Ended up DNFing the last letter. Don't think I was even half of the way through. I hate it when romance books like do this. The guy especially, like he's so angsty and like, you know, like problematic on his own at the beginning, like we all are. Um, like attachment issues, you know, commitment issues. And then like suddenly some kind of flip it just switches in the middle of the book where he just like becomes like the perfect boyfriend without actually being the boyfriend, you know? He just becomes a perfect person. And I'm like, Ew, this is boring. I don't know if people like read books because they like want to see that and like they self insert and like they want someone like that. Like, I don't really do that. Things that you're seeing is I'm like, no one talks like this and no one would actually act like this in real life. Like, and it just seems like so sterile. I don't really know how to explain it. Like, it just seems like the way that it is, it just seems like not real life. And then I can't buy into the book anymore and I get really bored and I just can't read it. It literally did my least favorite thing ever, which is like, like it was just like a couple of chapters of that. And then suddenly the girl is like, oh no, I'm in love with him. And then the chapter ends. So I changed my book. Reading The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. One of my friends in my class really loves this book and she really recommended it and I love Kristen Hanna. I really feel like reading one of these like historical literary books because they're actually one of my faves to read. They just like take a long time to read because this one's like murder weapon. It's like really big. But anyway, I still need to read my 45 minutes for today but I don't want to do it until I finish all my schoolwork. I don't know. It's probably gonna be right before I go to sleep. Update, it's almost 11 p.m. <laughs> I still haven't finished. I ended up calling my dad. And if you recall, I was literally crying because of my father. So not because he's a bad person. The opposite, actually. It's just because I love him so much. I just get emotional. Also, it's just been... I'm already a very sentimental person. Probably the most sentimental person I've ever met. It was just an emotional couple days. Maybe it's because I'm on my period. If you couldn't tell, it's pretty bad for me. I still haven't read the 45 minutes yet. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. No school tomorrow, thank God. This update, it's 1.11. I just finished all my stuff and there's no way I'm gonna be reading the 45 minutes. I'm literally sleeping as we speak and I'm becoming delusional the more the time goes on. So I'm just gonna do it tomorrow morning. Okay, love you. Okay, so now it's the morning and I still love you. But anyway, Great Alone is basically about this family. It's just like the wife, the husband, the daughter. They basically move to like the great Alaskan outback like population 30 because the dad takes them there and he is a war veteran and has been having issues that's causing family problems and you just learn a lot about the family dynamics good morning everyone um sorry about last night but i did read the 45 minutes 46 minutes actually okay extra credit sorry the laundry machine is going i'm at 15 percent <gasps> 
Oh my god. I scratched it. I made it to 15% of The Great Alone and I actually really love it. It's exactly the kind of book that I wanted to read. I'm still curious about what's gonna happen because it takes place like after the Vietnam War. He was a veteran. He's actually a prisoner of war. And so when he came back, obviously, things were really different and he had changed a lot. And we know that terrible things happened to him, but we don't really know that much because we are pretty much all in the daughter's point of view and she's 13 years old. But the relationship with the dad is like so complicated because it's like unreliable narrator. He has a drinking problem, just like has caused their family especially the mom i think a lot of dangerous situations that most of them we don't even know about but then like he's also like very loving towards his family and all the side characters like we're meeting like the other people who like live in their area i really like them it's they're all about like, helping each other out and they seem really really sweet unfortunately though is the end of this challenge <laughs> i technically think that i did not <laughs> succeed 45 minutes a day in theory is like not that much i feel like for some reason i don't know why it was so hard a bit disappointed thought that i would do better i will say though that during the days when I did find that 45 minutes to read it was like the most glorious 45 minutes of solitude of my life I would literally go insane without my reading time I know now never to compromise my reading time that's the end of this challenge and the end of this video let me know what other challenges you would want me to do because I like doing them even though it's unrealistic will I be able to do them? I feel like I failed the last two that I've tried anyway subscribe down below if you haven't already and follow me on my socials are all linked in the description and I'll see you all in the next one bye good fortune Toby